in this question the particle is starting from origin at t is equal to 0 with the velocity 6 j cap meter per second the acceleration is also given we have to find out the position coordinates when the velocity of the particle becomes parallel to x axis dear students we know that the velocity can be written as u plus a t for uniform acceleration here u is 6 j cap so substituting the value as 6 j cap acceleration is given as 2 y cap minus 2 j cap into t so dear students it is given that we have to find out the position when the velocity becomes parallel to x axis which means that the j component of the velocity must become 0 here the j component of the velocity is 6 minus 2 t so this will be 0 and this means that t should be equal to 3 seconds now dear students the coordinate of the particle that is r can be written as ut plus half into a t square that will be 6 into 3 j cap plus half into 2 y cap minus 2 j cap into 3 square please note that 3 is time here so r will be equal to 9 i cap plus 9 j cap meaning the coordinates are 9 comma 9 and hence dear students the correct answer for this question is option number 1 now let us proceed to the question number 22 question 22 says that the speed of projectile at the point of projection is root 2 times the speed at the maximum height then the angle of projection of the projectile is dear students if the initial velocity of projection is u then the speed at the maximum height will be u cos theta it is given that root 2 times of u cos theta is equal to u on solving we can find out that cos theta will be equal to 1 by root 2 or theta will be equal to 45 degrees and hence for this question the correct answer is option number 2 now let us move to the question number 23 in this question the particles position vector is given by r is equal to a sin omega t i cap plus b cos omega t j cap a and b are constant and we have to find out which of the following is true dear students here r is given as a sin omega t i cap plus b cos omega t j cap now the velocity will be equal to dr by dt which will be equal to a omega cos omega t i cap minus b omega sin omega t j cap and the acceleration will be equal to minus a omega square sin omega t i cap minus b omega square cos omega t j cap a simple analysis would, would tell us that acceleration here is minus omega square r which means that acceleration is anti parallel to r now let us analyze each option itself now the first option says that the velocity and acceleration both are perpendicular to r clearly this is wrong because acceleration is not perpendicular to r in fact acceleration is anti parallel to r second option says that the velocity is perpendicular to r and acceleration is directed towards origin the students now let us check whether velocity is perpendicular to r or not if velocity is perpendicular to r then v dot r should be zero now finding out v dot r it will be equal to a square omega cos omega t sin omega t minus b square omega cos omega t sin omega t clearly unless and until a is not equal to b v dot r would not be equal to zero and hence option number two is not always correct now let us analyze option number three which says velocity is parallel to r and acceleration is parallel to r if a is equal to b dear students this is also incorrect that velocity is not parallel to r and acceleration is actually anti parallel to r option 4 says that velocity is perpendicular to r for a is equal to b this is correct as we have discussed just now and acceleration is opposite to r for any value of b and this is correct as well and therefore for this question the correct answer is option number 4 now let us move to the question number 24 in this question a particle is moving such that the position coordinates are varying with time as shown below the position is given and the time is given we have to find out the average velocity of particle from t is equal to 0 till t is equal to 6 seconds so dear students at t is equal to 6 seconds these are the coordinates and t is equal to 0 these are the coordinates 
the displacement of the particle that is delta r can be written as 8 minus 0 i cap plus 8 minus 2 j cap. This will be equal to 8 i cap plus 6 j cap. The average velocity will be equal to the displacement divided by the time and that will be equal to 8 i cap plus 6 j cap divided by 6 and that will be 4 by 3 i cap plus j cap meter per second and hence dear students the correct answer is option number 2 now let us move to the question number 25 question 25 says that the angle of projection of a projectile for which range is double the maximum height will be dear students the equation of trajectory of a projectile is y is equal to x tan theta 1 minus x by r we must know that at x is equal to r by 2 y is equal to h so on substituting these values in this equation we can write down that h will be equal to r by 2 tan theta into half or 4 h by r will be equal to tan theta dear students it is given that r here is equal to 2 h and on putting this value we can write down that 4 h by 2 h is equal to tan theta so which will be equal to 2 and theta will be equal to tan inverse 2 this means that for this question the correct answer is option number 1 now let us move to the question number 26 